So I've drawn my tomahawk and I've cut it out. And uh, you can just use scissors to cut around like I uh, show you here. These are the waste pieces here. So we can get rid of those guys. Um, just one little tool that, or one little cutting trick that comes in handy. You know, and obviously this depends on your level of comfort and your ability with your students. Um, but I'm a big fan of using an X-Acto knife with a ruler to get nice straight cuts. And again, you kind of want to have some sort of cutting mat and just go right along the ruler there. And then the other nice little tool that uh, I picked up at a local craft store is uh, this circle cutting tool. And what you do is you take your cap off here. And then these measurements here are the diameter. So it's a little different because most compasses, the uh, radius is given, but this is the diameter here. So uh, this semicircle has a two inch diameter. So I would just slide this out to the two inch mark here. And then it's got a little sort of switch here and you use that to lock it in place. So now it can't move. And then you put the spike at the center and you put your little blade here along the curve and then you can use that also. And that tool works pretty nicely to cut. So um, they're pretty cheap, they're under 10 bucks. It's a nice little tool and it cuts up to an 11 and a half inch diameter circle. So um, just kind of loosen this all up and so you get a nice big circular cut out of that. It's pretty cool, it's a nice little tool. All right, okay, so how do you use this thing? Well, what I've got is I've got a couple of angles already drawn here. All right, so let's take this 90 degree angle and see how to use this to trisect an angle. Now, there's sort of three key areas here. One is the point of the tomahawk, all right? The second is the handle, okay, this handle right here. So from here, All the way down and then the third is the curve of the blade all right so those are sort of the three key parts to the tomahawk when you're using it to trisect an angle all right so here's what you do let's take this 90 degree angle here what you need to do is you need to take the point of the tomahawk and line it up with one ray of your angle the handle lines up through the vertex of the angle, and then the curve needs to be tangent to the other ray. So about there, okay? So you can see the point matches up with this ray. The handle goes through the vertex. I can probably get that a little bit better here. All right, so points on the ray, handle through the vertex, and then the curve, the blade of the tomahawk is tangent to the other ray. So now you're going to use this and this to make marks. And then take your straight edge and connect the vertex to those two marks. And that trisects, so it divides the angle into three congruent smaller angles. So let's take a protractor here and measure it and see if it works. So this was a 90. So each of these should be 30. All right, so here we are at 30 and here we are at 60. So pretty nifty little tool. Really pretty cool little tool. You know, it's really simple to make and it's a nice little tool that you can use to trisect an angle. You can also trisect an obtuse angle. Right, like my 120 degree angle that I've got down here. Again, you want the handle to go through the vertex, this point to be on a ray, and then the curve to be tangent to the other ray. So let's get this lined up nicely. I think that looks pretty good right there. So I'm handles lined up with the vertex, point of the tomahawk on a ray, blade tangent to the other ray. I'm just going to make a mark here and here. Then take my straight edge. Okay. 
and draw these. So this 120 degree is trisected. Let's verify it with our protractor here. Okay, 40 and 80 and 120. So I really love this little tool here. It's, it's just a really cool little thing. It's been around for a number of years. I encourage you to research a little bit. I'll provide some links. And you can make these different sizes. You know, this is the one made from the index card. Seems to be a pretty good size for students. You can make it smaller. You can make it bigger, all right? So this was made out of a piece of cardstock. So for example, if you're doing some woodworking, you might wanna make something if you ever had to trisect an angle. So really fun little tool and uh, it's been around for hundreds of years. I just learned about it recently and I'm pretty fascinated by it. So I hope that you find that this instructable, uh, these series of videos are helpful. And uh, if you have any feedback, comments or questions, I would love to hear from you. Thanks so much.